we take uh, the covid uh, let's talk about the virus that was found back in march uh, or even uh, beyond that and that particular strength of the virus and the strength of the virus which we are talking right now the uk variant or the us brazil whatever that variant is it much more stronger than what it was uh, does that mean that we are at a higher risk of it yes yeah, so it's like this when you say stronger uh, now the virus the intention of any virus is not to kill a person okay it's just it, it just wants to spread more so the current viral strains uh, the variants that are coming up in various countries they are no not more virulent when i mean virulent they are they don't cause more severe disease but they transmit more so uh, early if you want if you need a just like uh, x amount of virus uh, to infect somebody now a half a dose of that virus that viral strength is enough to infect somebody so basically you uh, people get infected with a lower dose of virus uh, than the previous uh, variants that were circulating in march uh, in your uh, profession you are you are actually paid to think like the virus in order to understand exactly where this virus is you know how it's behaving and what kind of uh, things that can uh, curtail it now we were given uh, in the in the beginning of covid-19 we were given a, s- a simple instruction wash your hands keep your distance can cover, uh, cover your face does that still apply for this variant as well yes of course the the mode of transmission has not changed at all these all these new variants transmit in the same manner as the previous variants uh, and and the the variants that we are seeing in sri lanka right now so it is a respiratory virus it is spread by a respiratory route only and only by a respiratory route because that's how it infects so the same advice still applies but then you might want to be more careful and when you look at how people got infected and when people got infected it is actually 80% of infections have occurred in um, in close settings like you call them clusters where there are overcrowding uh, or overcrowding settings where people gather for a longer time uh, in other countries they have shown that in weddings in parties mm-hmm. in bars and those are the places where a lot of uh, individuals get infected rather than uh, by walking around the road for instance This virus, uh, the mode of uh, transmission, is it only through saliva, or, or is it something? Uh, uh, so, so, uh, so, it, could it be sweat? No, it definitely not sweat. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it is through respiratory secretion. So, it, it is saliva, yes. And uh, and uh, when when we cough or sneeze, and when we breathe, we uh, produce these minute particles that uh, become airborne for a while. So, when you cough or sneeze, these particles go for a very long distance. but if it's uh, like if when you're speaking again based on the tone and the volume or voice you're speaking it might the length where these uh, small small particles go uh, are different so it is respiratory route and respiratory route only the uh, amount of like uh, you know sometimes like like you said you had to uh, stay a longer period of time maybe with an infected p- person to get infected does that mean that just because you come in contact like you know face to face you are necessarily you know not going to get it or uh, should be like be extra careful because there's a new variant as well and you know uh, what should like whoever is watching right now i mean do they have to uh, increase the amount of being you know uh, scared or being uh, you know if they are pretty much you know taking care of themselves making sure that all the the health guidelines are followed do they have to increase that amount or what exactly the advice you would yes. give yes so i think the first thing that you should not do is get scared okay because what i ha- what we have noticed is when people get scared and uh, they make up a lot of uh, false stories yes. and they also false for a lot of myths yes. so there i i seen i've seen a lot of myths and uh, ridiculous stories circulating in social media and even in mainstream media by the way <laughs> so yes. e- even on electronic uh, mainstream media so that is because uh, you are creating unnecessary uh, 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 you know scare scare among people so you, you can't be scared of things this is going to be here for a while and we need to know how to deal with it and uh, so you 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 study your enemy you have been understand our enemy very well so then uh, you have to take the necessary precautions for instance wearing a mask is very important and and just because uh, you speak to a infected person let's say for like one or two minutes that is not enough to spread the infection it has to be more prolonged contact than maybe one or two minutes usually around 15 minutes and wearing a mask actually significantly reduces the risk of infection <laughs>